Tuesday, July 17th, 2012. Welcome to the show. I'm Mike Eckford. And I'm Fiona Forbes. And it's a sunny day here in Vancouver, but I hear it's yes. a stinker in Toronto. Oh, if you're in Toronto 40 right degrees. now. If you are in Toronto right now. You have ah! melted. You have melted. Uh, I was talking to someone in Toronto today, and it is 37 degrees. And then with Humidex, which we have no understanding of here, it's over 50 degrees. What and does that they're even saying mean? That if you're outside for more than an hour, uh, heat stroke is not a possibility, it is a certainty. I was that's in Las saying. Vegas when it was 42 degrees Ooh. once, and it was one of those things but where... But that's a dry heat. You go in the water, but when you're getting out of the water, you're dry. It was the yeah, weirdest right. thing in the world. Like, you're really dry. Um, it's like uh, Apocalypse Now. Yeah. You know, like coming out of the water and you're drying up. What's his name? I had a little visitor at my place last night. I want to introduce you to him. I call him Raccoon. What are you doing in my house? That's a great photo. I left the back door open. Did you take that picture or did your daughter? I took that picture. Thank you, Instagram. Uh, I left the back door of the house open because it was fairly hot. It's nice to have a nice breeze going through the hot house. He went in and I, I heard something and I thought it was the cats eating their food. He was in the house, not just a little bit in the house, and he was totally casual. Was cash. he just hanging? Well, I walked up to him and he was like... You know what? You have to be careful with raccoons because my mom uh, said that there was uh, somebody was attacked with a dog in Washington State. Yeah, with a family of raccoons. Twenty-eight puncher wounds. Yeah, careful. They're wild animals. People, they might look cute. And I don't think you're allowed to hurt them. I think there's like a. I don't think you're allowed to hurt any animals. Well, no, but if it's if it's if it's attacking you, you're allowed to fight aren't back. Aren't you allowed to to to, you don't, to? you don't have to let a wild animal eat you. Oh, I'm like <laughs> bear. I can't. Wait, bear. I can't hurt it. I'm not allowed to hurt the bear. It's a protected species. <laughs> ah, As it goes. No, you're um, allowed to defend the Olympic, yourself. Uh, the Olympic Games start in ten days in London. This is going to be incredible. Are they getting better weather yet? No, it's terrible, and they're having all these security issues and transportation. The athletes started arriving. People were getting lost yesterday. They're already getting slammed. Well, they already have those huge traffic problems, yeah. and they've created Olympic-only lanes. Yeah. They don't even have lanes for the regular cars. Media around the world is feasting on London because, of course... They the, always do this pre-Olympics. We well, Olymp but <laughs> the London press has been so hard on every Olympic Games over the last five, so... I didn't mean you? to say that. What did you say? I missed it. <laughs> I, I have my ear piece in this ear, so I don't always catch the nuances. Did you say something dirty? John Montgomery had a really fast toboggan once. Yes, uh, he sent this out to all Canadian athletes as his little piece of inspiration for all Canadians. Uh, hey, I don't play hockey, lacrosse, or even Can you bleep that out there, buddy guy? But I do have a really fast toboggan. I just said the limp. Now, I don't know Jimmy, Sally, or Susie from Canada personally, but since winning gold in 2010, I've had an opportunity to meet a lot of Canadians, and they were all really, really nice. For years, Canada's athletes trained and waited for their one chance to forge a new folklore of golden firsts. Unforgettable rinkside kisses, overtime heroics, beautiful bronzes, and even a walk through Whistler Village with some new brown friends. I believe these pioneers of sport changed our country forever. Like Shane Cozen said, we are more. We are our athletes, and our athletes are us. And everything they give brings us all closer to our best. And they're ready to do it again in London, 2012. My name is John Montgomery, and I'm a proud Canadian athlete. Oh, good luck. Get her done. Good luck and get her done. Have they showed the Olympic medals yet for London? I, th I think they've released them, but I haven't I paid any attention. What they look like. I don't care about the Olympic medals, so it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, I know that what you said. You're a dirty, dirty person. Okay. You're terrible. Uh, we find a picture that is like our relationship here. Here is today's. Wow. <laughs> Wait, you can't fight back. It's a wild animal. <laughs> Let the raccoon attack you, Michael. You're a yeah. I can't do it Let's check in with Elise at Rock 101.
Hey guys, it's that time again. It's the time for another stick up location. We're doing the 101 Days of Summer Classic Rock, 101 Days of Summer that is, where we're gonna give away a Chevy Sonic, but you need to have a sticker on your car. Now these stick up locations will be in a certain area. This time we're gonna be at Coquitlam Center this Thursday from four to 6 p.m. The first 100 cars that come through will get a sticker plus a prize, but if you already have a sticker on your car, then you're entered into the draw to win the Chevy Sonic. So show up, be one of the first 100 cars, and you'll win. It's awesome. Thanks, Elise. I think I'm going to get out there on Thursday as well, so go and, uh, well, out come. To I shouldn't say go. I said come and, and join us. Was that inspirational? I felt inspirational. I felt like it was a real... Grammatically, it was, was not real, an inspiration. It was a John Montgomery style call to arms. Get her done. Port Coquitlam, get her done. We're going to take a quick break.